Hello, welcome to Cypress Automation. This is Cheerful. This is the continuation uh, project of uh, Cucumber BDD framework in Cypress. In this lecture, we're going to see how to create feature file or how you can write your test cases in feature file. So, I hope that you all know about the BDD framework. So, what is BDD frameworks? How it works? So, you know, uh, what uh, what different types of file it's involves the BDD frameworks. So if you don't know, please, please watch our previous two lecture. That's a start from the very scratch with the definition of BDD frameworks, how it works, all those things. Yeah, I can show you our YouTube channel. So if you go to our YouTube channel and uh, you can see we have a separate project for BDD page object model project where we have a part one part two uh, it's all about like BDD frameworks so what is the behavior of uh, you know driven uh, development frameworks all the definition as well as how to integrate you can see how to install or integrate your cucumber tool uh, to support BDD framework in Cypress so please watch those previous uh, lecture otherwise you will not understand this part here as you can see this uh, when you say BDD format it's all about writing a test case in English language uh, following given when then approach where you're given it some you know your some precondition and when is some action as well as uh, then it's like some of the results after you perform some action so that's the you know the format that's BDD framework in a simple uh, sentence you can say so let's do an example okay so in this lecture we're going to you know create a simple BDD uh, or uh, feature file where we're going to write some scenarios following this given when then approach so in our last lecture we install you know uh, set up uh, uh, your uh, cucumber uh, you know uh, all the features uh, the Gherkin uh, you know the plugin also uh, cucumber preprocessor the Cypress cucumber preprocessor plugin that's uh, enable you to uh, you know create uh, or or build a BDD framework project so we have seen that so now we're going to create a simple features file we're going to see how you do this right so close all the window okay so you're closing all the window let's maximize this okay let's open a new terminal and here the first uh, we're going to do we're going to create a folder okay let's inside this uh, you know example like integration example here create another folder I would say create a new folder and then give a name uh, I would say cucumber Cucumber, say uh, BDD, I would say BDD uh, test. Cucumber BDD test, right? So let's give a folder name, something like that, right? Cucumber BDD test. And now inside this folder, so this is uh, your project for Cucumber related. So everything have to be inside this folder. So first we're going to see how to write the feature file right so inside this folder you can, you can right click create a new file and then just give a name you're going to create a file by the features extension so what would be our application let's go to our application first okay so this is our application again it's a uh, coding box automation lab .com. you know this is our application so what we're going to do we're going to say we'll land our our you know application is this is our actual application landing page codenboxautomationlab.com and here after we landed here we're going to click on practice page click on practice and then you know it will land to the practice page so in this page this is our page for our doing the test cases so in this space we're going to do very simple test case like we're going to verify that it has a page title which is uh, visible and which is equivalent to uh, you know match with automation practice this uh, you know string this is one scenario uh, or one test case 
the second test case would be uh, we'll select a drop down from this drop down static drop down option we're going to select selenium we're going to ensure that we're able to select selenium uh, you know the part from the drop down static drop down uh, features so that's the two you know very simple scenario we're going to so this is the two test cases scenario it means you know uh, test cases so this is two scenario two test cases we're going to write in feature file okay that's the two so let's write our feature files right so inside this cucumber bdd test here you can right click create a new file and here you are going you are going to give it uh, you know your file name the feature file name so let's give a name since it's a uh, it's a you know the the practice or this test case related about the practice page okay let's give a name something like this uh, so our application name is code and box your uh, denbox code and box slash uh, probably and then practice page practice so the page we're going to do the test cases write the test case about the practice so let's give a code and box underscore practice let's see practice and then a dot feature so in practice page some features we're going to uh, you know write some test cases so make sure whatever the name you give and after the dot you have to have to give the feature extension okay so that's a post extension so that's what you have to make sure you, you give this dot feature so this is the name it's a uh, some logical name you know based on your your page or based on your features you are going to uh, write the test cases but make sure you give a features and as soon as you put the dot features you can see there is a nice little you know cucumber icon it shows because you know we enable the cucumber uh, you know in VS Code the 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 icon uh, features we enable as well as we install the Gherkin you know the plugin or extension in this VS Code that's why you know so hit enter nice so this is your feature file right it's been created so now we're going to write the you know create the write the test cases in feature files so how are we gonna write the so following the format so first things in feature file you have to you have to write the the keyword is called feature feature right in the feature so you are going to give a feature name feature this means you are giving some sort of like it is a like some sort of like test suit right so you are giving to uh, give us some title of the test suit or you will giving uh, give some you know hi, uh, you know some summary about the features like you are going to write some test case based on what features so it is like where, where we'll say uh, it is uh, for practice page right so we can say over here so practice functions functions of the application so it's like a, some sort of you know uh, overall idea or the title for your test suit for the features of that application you are going to so specific for the features so which is the practice you know page we have a, some function so we're going to do some write some test cases based on practice page features so this is my features right and after that there will be some description you you can write so description would be uh, for this I would say as a you know user I'm able to use you know use uh, the function in practice space so in practice it's a lot of functions so you know as a user you know we, we want to ensure that you are able to use all the functions in practice page right so even though our test cases would be just uh, in a two scenario but that should be your description right so something like that as a user as a user I am I'm able to enable able enable to use enable to use all the functions all the functions uh, in practice page practice page it just give you overall idea about the functions you know these features okay and now now it's time to 
write your test cases. So your test cases means scenario. So every scenario is an individual test case, right? So the first you are we are following the uh, you know the in scenario given when then approach. So first is scenario. So scenario is nothing is you know test case title, right? So you are you are going to type scenario. You're going to type. Let's remove this. You're going to type scenario uh, keyword. You can see S C E. Then it comes automatically. So you'll write the scenario. So first scenario. What's the scenario? As a user, I'm able to see the title. Remember that's our two scenario. The first scenario was as a user, I I'm able to see the page title, which is automation practice, right? So let's type, uh, you know, write this scenario. So as a, it's our test case uh, title would be scenario. So as a as a user, as a user, I should I should able to able to see the yes I should able to see the title title of the page okay what page that practice page okay and then now this is your scenario or test case now what would be the you know the format uh, for BDD that's follow which is given when uh, then approach so what would be the you're given so given would be so type the given uh, keyword so given would be you know uh, first things w given is a precondition right so what's your precondition to confirm to test this scenario you have to land to the right page you know successfully you know you have to browse to the page successfully so let's I uh, I I can uh, successfully browse to the I successfully I successfully browse or land you can say land to the application so that will be your precondition right and then what would be the your action so your action would be so you land to the successfully you 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 browse or you land to the application successfully which is the home page would be the home page right it will be the here home page right so you have to but we have to our test case is on practice page right so it means after you land to the uh, successfully in this uh, you know application and then you click on our, our first action would be click on practice button right and then you can confirm that whether you can see or visible this automation practice the title of the page is automation practice so our first action is you know click on our first action would be click on practice right it's the practice button so I click on practice practice button right and what's the output the output would be I should able to verify the title of the page is automation practice right so that's our outputs which is going to be under the then uh, you know uh, uh, statement so I should I should see the title title of the of the page is right automation practice so let's copy that you know oh, exactly what it is so automation practice right so this is the your outcome so that's our first scenarios and what's our second scenario our second scenario would be you know our second scenario would be we should able to select let's see check again our second scenario is you know select selenium option from this static drop down right so let's write the scenario as a user as a user um, I should able to select I should able to select from static static drop down right I should able to this is our test cases the scenario for the test cases right and then what would be our action which is a when when would be I click on 
static I click on a static drop down example option right a static drop down you can say you know button or a static drop down option right and then what would be the our uh, outcome which is the then statement it should be I sh uh, I should I should able I should able to select I should I should able to I should able to select selenium option right selenium option right so that's the our output so it's a very simple so you know this is a two scenario for this practice pa page so first one you know I would able to verify I would able to see the title of the page of the practice so this is the given when then statement and then second one is how I'm able to select the static you know uh, some one of the option from the static drop down and here is the when and you know you don't need over here any given because you know there is no precondition because over the first one I had a precondition that I have to launch the page or, or land to the page but over here we're in the same page that's why I didn't put the given you know you can do this uh, this way if you have a multiple scenario so feature file can have a one scenario feature file can have multiple scenarios it's all up to you okay the the way you 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 feel good and it is all the scenario again it's a individual test case so it means you know and features is like a your test suit so one test suits you could be, could have a one test or could have multiple test cases right which is the multiple scenario so don't forget to save it just save it so pretty much you know you can see that's your feature file for practice page it's ready so that's the way you are going to create your feature file for BDD frameworks and this is the first steps that you are going to do write your test cases following the BDD format in feature file you know following given when then approach so that's a very simple right so stay tuned watch the next video where we're going to see how you can write the step definition how you are going to write the you know JS file or uh, class file for your different individual pages following the page object pattern so thanks a lot you know I'll see you in the next video have a good one